how we all doing? My name is of course Paul. Welcome back to a new video. It's currently half seven. I'm, I'm on my way to work. Good really to go to Lion. But that being said, let's get this week over. However, I've got a funny feeling that I'm going to keep getting up early anyway. Because of the fact that it's now like pretty much sunny. But we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed I can try and get some kind of a Lion. But let's head to work. And catch you in the <laughs> Day over with, time to go home. First of all, though, gotta make a quick stop to Tesco. Right, okay, everyone, so I'm finally home. Everything is peachy. I'm gonna do something now that I've wanted to do for over a week. Right, so what have I wanted to do for a week? Well, let's switch the lights on first. There we go. So, what have I wanted to do for over a week? Well, just, just on a week now. First of all, let's tidy this and let's grab what's behind. This stuff is awesome. I love this stuff. video so the YouTube thing I mean I don't know whether you've seen Casey Neistat's video that he done for Samsung the do what you can't now that video rings true to me for a lot of reasons but the main reason was, was that I was told at the beginning of starting YouTube you can't do this now when I look back on that and I think about everything that I've done on YouTube and to start the YouTube stuff and all the videos that I made previously to this that I never put on YouTube I always come back to the fact that I can do this now obviously I've had a lot of comments about a lot of negative stuff go on on the channel that I chose to air in a video in a few videos I've heard all the negative stuff that has been put in the comment section down below and it kind of makes you think really why did I bother? Why did I do that? What was the point in it? Why didn't I just leave it alone and go about my day and and not bring up the negative stuff? Why did I choose to do it? And the answer to that was you got the fight or flight syndrome. Now I could have left it and then it would have looked like I had flight that took off and left it. But then there's the stand your ground and fight. Now to me that's the way that I wanted to do it. Is to stand up for myself because people were saying that they were giving me ideas, they were giving me tips, etc. They were giving their, their opinions. To me, it wasn't. To me, it looked like they were bashing. So, why am I gonna allow someone on the internet to bash me like that? But then I looked at it from another perspective, then of I should have left it, I should have walked away from it, I should have ignored the comments. But then you'd always go back to it if you'd have known then what you know now. However, that being said, I'm enjoying making YouTube videos. I'm enjoying the equipment that I've got to film with. Now, to me, I've always said on said I've got a face for radio, but that's just a little joke that I have with myself is that I've got a face for radio. Now, I know for a fact that I can do this and I can do this well. However, over the last couple of weeks or so, I've noticed me content has dropped a lot. Now I know I was on vacation, I was on holiday, I was enjoying myself and sort of that. But to me, I wasn't on holiday. That wasn't a holiday to me, that was me working. Even though I spent some time with the family, that was me working. I was working, making videos, I was working, 
doing stuff for Orlando Taurus, I was out at events, I was doing stuff. Now sometimes your equipment fails as you knew because the, the memory card formatted on two separate videos for on me and even the, the helicopter video I need to try and recover those files that's going to be a job for tonight after I've done my editing on this video I need to try and recover the memory card files from this and see if I can bring the helicopter video back but that being said I'm enjoying doing this even though my audience is like this big right now but you guys are what make it you guys are what make my videos my videos if you weren't watching them, if no one was watching them, it'd still be my video. At the end of the day, it's what I want to put out. Now, it also as well with the way that I look at things is, is when I'm making a video, and I'm editing, and I'm sitting down, I'm watching it back, and some videos I've been like, yes, I enjoyed that. That was awesome. I've truly enjoyed that. Other videos I've looked back on and gone, I wasn't a fan. But then I'm thinking I've got to make content that you guys want to watch and stuff that I'd want to watch. Something that I'd want to see on a YouTube channel. Maybe something that's already been done before but you're doing it your way type of thing. But then there's other things out there that you can do where it's just yours. And then other people follow suit etc. But I can't see me, I'm, I'm not the type of person that goes off and disappears into the distance easily. I've done that at the very start of making YouTube videos. I went away for six months, I left it, I walked away from it and I shouldn't have done that. I should not have walked away from making YouTube videos. I walked away for six months because I was told I can't do this and I drilled it into me that I couldn't do this. But you know what? I can do this. Anyone can do this. Casey and I said video was right do what you can if you can't do this believe me you can do this go out and go and do it if this is what you want go and do it i'm committed i'm committed to 365 videos even if i put out something that i haven't filmed that day if i filmed something previously i'm putting it out i'm going to put it out as that, as that day's video it's as simple as that because i'm not going anywhere i'm not going anywhere soon I'm committed to 365 videos as well as the Saturday tech or car video and the occasional other video that I put out on a Wednesday. I'm going to go and crack on with this editing and then I'm going to try and recover those files. I wake up every single day with the thing of grind, go and work hard, do everything that you need to do in that day. Now I get up in the morning, I start videoing, I go to work, I come home, I carry on videoing, I see the family. I carry on video and I edit, I go to bed, I wake up, I do the same thing over and over again. Now, that to me is something that I want to do. I could stand here and bitch and moan about it, but why should I? Because this is something that I want to do. The likes of me normal 9-to-5 job, that's something I don't want to do. This is something that I want. I need to work for it, I need to grind for it. And that's exactly what I'm doing. That's what you need to get into your head, that's what you need to think is I need to do something that I want to do, something that I'm going to love to, and something that I'm going to wake up and go, I'm going to pick that camera up, I'm going to pick something up, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, that's what you need to do. If this motivates you, I'm happy, if it doesn't, never mind, this is something that I wanted to get off my chest. But anyway guys, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to end today's video here, I really hope you've enjoyed it, I know I've enjoyed it, work hard, grind, don't stop believing in yourself. And never ever ever let anyone tell you you can't for now i'm gonna go and edit these videos make sure they go live for you guys to watch i really hope you enjoy them also let me know what you're thinking about it, these videos being in 4k on the sony not everyone is going to be 4k because i'm going to be reverting backwards and forwards between the canon and this but be sure to let me know in the comments down below what you think of the videos in 4k so thanks very much for watching guys, I'll see you all tomorrow, take it easy.